Hey, Fit Sister in Christ, welcome back to another episode of the Strong Confident His Podcast. I'm your host, Kim Dolan Leto, and I have a great message for you today. You know, this podcast is all about our faith fueled fitness journeys, how to eat with God, how to invite Jesus to be the centerpiece, how to walk it out in the power of the Holy Spirit daily. And today I want to talk to you about something that touches each of us, and that is God's perfect plan and timing. Okay. Because <laughs> doesn't it often not go exactly hand in hand with ours, right? We're like, when God, win, and we'd like him to hurry up and he doesn't always, but I'm going to tell you why. And I'm going to give you some great advice that is going to help you stay the course and realize that he's working. Okay. Before I dive in, I have got some really exciting information to share with you. So if you're doing something, come back to me today is the last day. October 1st is the last day to join the Fit God's Way 30-Day Transformation. So if you were like, ooh, I got to go do that, go to kimdolanletto.com forward slash enroll to join right now. This is it. So if you've been praying for a real lasting transformation, now is the time. The doors close at midnight tonight, and it won't be available again until next year. So if you're ready to finally see results that come from aligning your fitness with your faith, Head to the link in the show notes or go to kimdolanletto.com forward slash to enroll. And I can't wait to see you inside real quickly. In case you didn't know the fit God's way 30 day transformation is 25 video lessons guides that help you create a step-by-step -step plan with God at the center of your fitness. This isn't doing what I do or what someone else does. This is you partnering with God and going all in on your fitness journey. And I offer you workouts in there. I offer you recipes, prayers, encouragement, playlists, every single thing you need to succeed. And there's bonuses too. So you want to act now if this is for you. Okay, let's jump into today's episode. You know, so often on our fitness journeys, we want things to happen right now, right? Whether it's weight loss, muscle gains, you know, you're wanting to feel more confident for an event, a high school reunion, a vacation, a cruise, whatever it is, we set these timelines for ourselves, right? We say things like, I want to be at my goal weight by this day, by this vacation, by this event. But when that doesn't happen and these timelines don't line up with reality, we can get really defeated, right? I mean, maybe you get busy and you fall off track and then you end up quitting. I want to share with you that God wants you to recognize these moments and to recognize that you can miss it a day, but anything you do, you need to be walking it out with God daily. So I always tell people when you fall off track, when you, when you have that moment where you're like, oh my gosh, I've fallen off track. I ate bad. I missed my workouts, whatever it is. And your timeline isn't lining up. I want you to pick yourself up in the grace of God and get back in it. And I'm telling you, there's nothing consistency in Christ can't beat. Okay. And just because you're not right where you want to be, girl, look at how far you've come. Sometimes we need to look back and look at how far we've come. Okay. Don't miss it. I wrote a note I wanted to include. Let me write, let me share this with you. Don't miss it. Don't miss what God is doing by focusing on only what you want him to do. Just because you don't see immediate results doesn't mean God isn't working. In fact, those times of waiting in those times while we're waiting and we're working, those are often where God is doing his deepest work in us. Okay. So if you want God to bless your efforts, are you have you positioned yourself to be blessed? Is there any known sin in your life? Are there any habits he's put his finger on that he's told you, no, you can't be doing that. Is there any part of your life that you haven't completely surrendered to him? Right. Um, we can't add God to anything. I think sometimes people are like, oh, you teach faith and fitness. So like, does that mean I say a prayer and the weight loss comes off? God is not a genie in a bottle. You can't say a prayer or expect anything to be instantly fixed. So we can't, it's like, don't treat God like someone who exists to grant your wishes, right? Instead, let's honor him with reverence and awe, the awe and reverence he deserves. He loves you and I so much, and he is for us, but he will not tolerate tolerate sin, pride, uh, idolatry. You know, fitness can become such an idol. So we really need to check our heart motives. So trusting his timing and his ways, even when they don't match or reach your expectations. 
one thing I've been telling myself a lot lately, and I know I'm going to talk to somebody right now, is that my expectation is is in the Lord. It's in the Lord. It cannot be in anything else. And I, I want to share this real quickly too. We can't add God to anything. Like he must be first. You don't just say, okay, I'm going to add God to this. No. So are you willing to surrender your whole life to God and trust him with it? All of it, parenting, marriage, the finances, the fitness, the food, your image, your, your social media, your, your language, the way you talk to yourself, the way you talk to others, whatever it is. Okay. We need to surrender it all to God and trust him with it. We tend to take back the parts. <laughs> I'm laughing because don't we do this? We tend to take back the parts we want to control, but he wants us to come under his leadership and partner with him. Instead of dwelling on where you're not today, I want you to focus on how far he has brought you and have faith to trust where he is leading you. He may have something so much better in mind. Okay. When I look at my life, I always joke with my husband. I, I used to drive around in the neighborhood we live in and I prayed one day that I would live here. And we actually live in like a little bit nicer part of the neighborhood than I used to drive around. And I had this vision that I would have this and that and all these things. And, you know, please don't send me hate mail and say, oh, you sound materialistic. I'm just being real with you. You know, when you're 27, you're out of college, working hard at a job. Like I had these dreams that like I would, I wanted to live in this place. And I thought if I had this car and this, and I had this little dog, I would be happy and all these things. And I look at my life now and I'm like, man, God took my little puny dream and blew it up and gave me something infinitely better. So what I'm telling you today is you might be, your happiness right now might be contingent on seven pounds you want to lose or 60 pounds you want to lose, but girl, you can be happy right now, right now, when you know who you are in Christ, your identity is in him. It is not in your waist size. It is not in your weight. It is not in what you look like. It is not in any of those things. How many people follow you? How many people bought your product or your book or how, whatever it's in Jesus. And when we can just take a breath and just be like, Lord, I am coming under your leadership. Lord, you are my, you're my father. And I love you. Thank you for your son, Jesus, who died, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who died on the cross for me, who his death brought, got me the Holy spirit. You know, when I said yes to Jesus, I now have the whole power of the Holy spirit in me. Thank you for not leaving me alone. Girls, we are so much stronger. We quit on bad days. We give up in tiny moments of weakness, but why can't we just let ourselves have that moment and then recognize, okay, I had a bad moment. I'm not going to be hard on myself. I have the, the, the Holy spirit gift of self-control to choose that I'm going to be faithful. I'm going to have joy. The joy of the Lord is my strength. So I hope that encourages you. So sister, when you put your hope in the Lord and you trust his timing, you're not just waiting around. Okay. You're building spiritual muscles, spiritual strength that will carry you through not only your fitness goals, but through every challenge of life. If you're listening right now and you're feeling like you've tried everything to get fit, but you, or whatever your goal is, and it seems like nothing's working. I want to encourage you to shift your focus. Stop looking at the world's timelines for results and start looking at God, at God's his timing is always right. It's always perfect. And when you partner with him, you'll find that your journey will lead to a transformation that's deeper than just physical change. It's about a heart change, a heart set, a mindset change, and it will transform you from the inside out. And that's, that's exactly when I look at my before picture at 25 and my after picture at 55, like I didn't just go through a transformation back then. I, it's been a life transformation. Like God made me new. He transformed me from the inside out. And that's why I created that fit God's way 30 day transformation that expires today. Uh, because I wanted to share every step that he's taught me. I know fitness is a huge struggle for so many of us. So it's about inviting God into it and trusting his timing and for your transformation. It's not going to be in your timing. It's going to be in his timing. And he directs the steps of the, like he delights in those who diligently seek him. And if you trust in him with all your heart and you lean not on your own understanding and you acknowledge him in all your ways, he will direct your path. He will direct your steps. Okay. That was Proverbs three, five through six, such a good scripture. It's about seeking him first in your, in your life, in your health, in your fitness and surrendering your goals to him, knowing, knowing 
that he's establishing your steps. Okay. So here's our, I, I want to give you a call to action. If you've been praying for a breakthrough in your fitness, today's your last day and it's your last chance. So I want to invite you to join the fit God's way 30 day transformation before the doors close tonight. If you're listening on October 1st, if it's past that, I'm sorry, it won't be until next year, maybe April is when I usually launch it. I'm usually just going to launch it once a year in April. So that's what I, I'll go back to. So if you're like, I need this, the time to, is now to act. So go to kimdolanletto.com forward slash to enroll. And don't let this opportunity pass you by. If you're ready for a transformation, that's not just about losing weight, you guys. It's about finding your identity in Christ, your strength. You've got so much more to do than think about what you weigh and what you look like. Let's get this behind you and go on to what God is calling you to. Okay. Um, I've walked this path. <laughs> and I know the freedom that comes when you align your health journey with God's plan. I've been there. I remember feeling so down and so isolated and alone when I went through a massive rejection one time. And I look back on it now and I realize that God was preparing me for what he prepared for me. And I had to go through that. I know that spoke to someone because it's not in my notes. God's timing is not our timing and his plans and his ways are always better than ours. I love how Proverbs 16, nine tells us in the heart, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. We can make all the plans we want, but it's God who directs our steps. He sees the bigger picture, the things we can't see while we're focused on the number on the scale, the number of followers. Should I write a book? Should I start a blog? Should I do this? Should I do that? Should I stop caring what people think? Uh, yes. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you approval addiction is a massive thing that uh, for whatever reason that just came to my mind is that it's like, we're not living because we're waiting. Let's stop waiting. Let's start acting. Let's activate our faith, right? And care what God thinks of us. Let's mindset and heart set be set on him, right? Let's set our minds and hearts on him and not what other people think and what our timeline is because God's plan is always better. So just because, you know, you don't see immediate results doesn't mean God isn't working. In fact, I had said this before. That means those are the times when I feel like he's op often doing his deepest work in us. And I want you to think about Isaiah 40, 31. I love this scripture so much. It says, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and grow weary. They will walk and not faint. You know, I love how the eagle uses the, the storm, right? He uses, they use the currents. And I just think about how we can use our opportunities and our tests and our mess to strengthen us, or we're just going to keep taking those tests until we pass them. Have you noticed that? Are you taking the same test too? I mean, I really feel like that happens. So I just want to share with you that God is in your story. He is for you and he loves you so much. And I kind of want to just recap these points that I had really quick. Okay. Number one, God is not a genie in a bottle. We can't expect him to do things on our timeline. We need to submit ourselves to our Lord and savior and come under that. We have to have that respect and reverence for our God. I mean, he, we don't have a designer Jesus. God is not just like, Oh, I'm just going to slap a Jesus bumper sticker on it and say a prayer. And then it's going to work. No, we need to come under the authority of our Lord and savior. Okay. And number two, don't miss it. Don't miss that God, what God is doing in the middle of the work, in the middle of the mess, and just because you don't see the immediate results, it doesn't mean God isn't working. You could be one more day, one more month, one more week, and then at your goal. Just so keep on keeping on. Okay. And lastly, we can't just add God, like slap our Jesus bumper sticker on anything. No, he must be first with a sold out heart and mind. Like that's why I call like a my workouts worship, because when I go to the gym, which I think a lot of people, oh, I won't even go there, but I'm either going there to take care of the, the body that he gave me to manage while I'm here, or I'm going there to turn myself into something to look a certain way. It's like, I feel like, and this might make some people angry and I don't mean to, but I've been there where your body can just become your God. Like God will have no gods before him. And Fitness can become such an idol in our lives. 
So we need to hold on to Exodus 20 verse three, which says God will have no gods before him. So <clears throat> what I was basically saying is like, I see people going to the gym and the gyms are like their church and they are their own gods. And that's why our bodies are, we need to just die to ourselves and say, no, Lord, my fitness journey is not going to be about my glory. It's going to be about stewardship so that my life can bring you glory so that I can steward my body and my calling for your glory, like the whole casting crowns thing in the Bible. Okay. So just real quickly, if you're like, I need a faith inspired transformation, not a me inspired transformation, he versus me. I love that. Um, not a self-centered, a God centered. I want to invite you one last time because it's going to be months before you're able to do this. If you're listening on Tuesday, if it's past Tuesday, it's too late, but, uh, there were so many great pearls of wisdom in here that I hope that you hold on to because God's timing is perfect. So if it's your time, go to kimdolanletto.com forward slash enroll, enroll in the, in the fit God's way, 30 day transformation, join us. There's already a beautiful group of ladies there. Oh my gosh. I love them so much. And we would just love to have you there. Uh, I'm going to say a prayer for us. And if this is something that you feel like someone needed to hear, please share it with them. Okay. Father God, I just thank you for every woman listening. I thank you so much, Father, for the ability to share your word in fitness. I thank you for the words that you give me. I love that you never have me stay on my script. You always go in your direction, God. And I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful for even today when I was listening to Charles Stanley, when I was walking and you had me write down these points as Charles Stanley, Dr. Charles Stanley inspired me. I'm so grateful for the the pastors that you've brought into my life that edify me and speak wisdom into me. And God, I ask that you help me speak wisdom into these ladies for anyone who needs a breakthrough. God, I pray in this moment that she has a breakthrough. I pray that you are with her. <laughs> I pray that she feels loved that she feels your loving arms surround her and that she has the faith to take another step in you today, God. It is in you, for you, and through you that we exist, Lord. I love you so much. And I thank you for this podcast. I thank you for every woman listening. And I thank you for the call to create the, the Fit God's Way 30-Day Transformation. I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Sister, if this blessed you, please share it with someone. And I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in today. I really hope that whether or not you take the course that this has encouraged you to surrender your fitness to God. Um, I love hearing from you. So leave a comment, write a review, make sure you're subscribed on Apple and Spotify. You'll notice lately I've been sharing bonus episodes and you won't get those unless you're subscribed. So subscribe until next week. I want you to remember girl, you are strong, confident, his.